Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to Lightning Gaming. So in today's episode I'm gonna show you how to use the Red Mesa compound to build one of the strongest road bases currently in the game. It's very easy to build, it's a huge secret, cause no one knows about it. So yeah, watch the video. And if you like the video, please remember to write a comment in the comment section, tell me what you think about this video. But yeah, let's get straight to the build. Let me show you guys how you can make this old base. Okay, so we're at the Red Mesa restricted area. This is one of the hardest POIs in the game, but we're not going down into the POI. We'll be building the old base right on top. The zombies will be dropping into the POI, but that's not your problem. So first thing what you're gonna do guys, you're gonna come to this two air vents over here. Now you can use any one of them and as you can see guys it's just super high down here. Now we're gonna use this and we're gonna drop the zombies right inside that POI. Very fun guys and a very very OP build. So first thing you're gonna do you're just gonna remove this wood right over here. Okay so once you're done with that the hardest part about this old base is you're gonna have to remove all the bottom blocks right over here, all around, otherwise they will be able to jump right on top. So after you're done removing those bottom parts, we're gonna go ahead, let me just show you guys here how it looks. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna check out where's the middle part of this three blocks, right over here. You can use construction blocks if you're struggling a little bit to find the middle spot. And then you just go to the middle and place him down here, but the white block will mark the middle spot for you. And now you're just gonna remove those three railings right over there, because we're gonna build up a staircase. Let me just remove this real quick. So you're gonna take out three of the railings right over here. Now guys, the staircase, the zombies will run down the driveway, up your ramp, straight into the drop, drop point. So yeah, let's just set that up real quick. To set it up, we're gonna use some solid blocks. You're gonna place it just like this. There we go. Now it will be a big zombie dropper, so we're gonna make it three blocks in length. Let me just take this truck out of the way over here. Now we're just gonna go with solid blocks and we're gonna bring it all the way down. Let's just add one more up there. There we go. You're gonna bring it all the way down to the driveway, guys, cause we want them to be able to access our stairs easily. We don't want them to get stuck and to struggle. Since we're running a 64 zombie horde night, there will be a lot of them. We don't want them to get in its other way and obstruct its other. So now you're just gonna make some normal stairs. You can do it just like this. It's not hard guys, it's a very simple build, but yeah, it's end game and it's very, very powerful as you're gonna see in the end of this video. So let me just place this real quick, there we go, staircase almost done, I'm just gonna drop down one block every time, okay, now remember guys this is in a tier 5 loot area as well, so you'll be getting very very good loot, just another reason this base is so OP, okay so once you got the block stacked like that, we're just gonna use some fold ramps, we're gonna fill it up all the way to the top. There we go. Okay. So now you can see guys, now they can get up easily. They won't struggle. They won't get stuck anywhere. They're just gonna run straight up this ramp. So now we're just gonna do the same on this side. But we're gonna keep that platform open. Because since the entrance is so far, what's gonna happen is the zombies will get stuck in the outside walls. And they will break down those blocks. So we're gonna have to put in two more entrances at the back, but I'll show you guys how I do that in a couple of seconds. Okay, so now let's just use fold ramps again and just complete the staircase. There we go. Okay, so once you're done with the staircase guys, we're gonna go ahead and build a dropper. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take some solid blocks. Place them right here on the side, cause you don't want it round like it is at the moment, you're gonna want it square. So let's just place uh, some solid blocks over here, and then do the same on the other side. There we go, now just do the same right over here. Okay, so we're gonna take it all the way through. 
our base where we'll be setting will be right in the end guys and as you can see this is just a huge zombie dropper no zombies will be able to jump over or get past in any way they will just all fall straight into your trap so let's just make this walls three blocks high there we go just one more layer okay and just do the same in the other side okay so as you can see guys it's already starting to look very very op very fun base to show your friends and yeah you remember to tell me what you guys think in the comment section i'm quite cu curious of what you're thinking about this base so yeah let me know okay so next up we just gonna start by placing our dropper gonna go over to the west 60 tab but i think it's gonna be a little too far to reach from this side let's try from the top okay so we're just gonna use some construction blocks so that we can reach the other side easier just gonna place one more let's just check it out no i don't want to fall in there let's just place another one okay so now we can start adding in our wet 60 tub now the wet 60 tub will add in in both sides guys if you do that they won't be forced to attack the blocks because they're gonna have so much space to walk around they won't even bother attacking any blocks they just gonna drop straight down okay so let's i'm just finishing up with the wet 60 tubs real quick i had a little bit of a zombie problem so i just cut out that part okay here's the one side and now exactly the same on the other side there we go okay as easy as that and we're just gonna go straight through with it again okay so that's that for our dropper guys all you still have to add here is the half cube and we're just gonna stack that up to the same height of the walls on both sides i'm just gonna skip through that and then show you guys what it looks like okay so i'm finally done with the half cubes now we're just gonna finish off the rest of the base now this is the part where you'll be standing and attacking the zombies so you're just gonna place it straight through to the same height of the fence that is all around and then you're just gonna add the wall right over here you're gonna make it three blocks high in total let's just add that in and then we'll just put on a roof okay so i place the walls i'm just finishing up the roof right now okay as you can see guys looks very very op i'm just gonna remove this wire over here this will be our exit spot where we can get in and out so i'll just place some more walls right over here so that zombies can't sneak in behind us there we go very nice very sneaky and yeah that's about that now we're just gonna use some scaffoldings place them up right in front now guys there, after this there's one more important part i'm gonna have to show you guys because if you don't do that you're also gonna struggle because zombies will attack the base from behind if you don't do it so yeah that's all we're gonna place for the scaffoldings now nothing can reach us from the top and you can shoot easily and we're not blocking the ai path okay so now the next thing guys i tried this before you have to take out two blocks right over here if you don't do it the zombies will stack up against the wall and try and get in from the back side so this is very important we have to create another path right over here because what happens is the zombies spawn in the back side of your base then they're gonna try to go through here so rather make them a path and be safe if they spawn in the back they can just run around i finished taking out those blocks now now we're just gonna remove these railings right over here now we'll just take some solid blocks and we're gonna place it right over here so now what's gonna happen guys is the zombies will be able let me just kill this guy real quick ah get, caught me off guard there so now what will happen guys is the zombies will be able to get up from that side as well they won't get stuck against your wall do damage to your base let's just place some fault stairs over here straight on path and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side they can come in there or they can come in there as you can see guys at the previous night they already destroyed that wall 
And then they started attacking this ramp over here and we don't want that. So we'll just place two more solid blocks right over here. There we go. And just put up another stairs. Okay, so now zombies can't get stuck anywhere guys. It's a straightforward process. Now what happens when they fall down is they'll create their own path to get back outside and just do an infinite loop. Now that might, might take a two or three hot nights before they get the path finished. But until then you can just sit here and wait for the zombies. Remember everyone you kill have to respawn again. So yeah, you'll later be stuck with 10 or 20 zombies running instead of 64 if they don't dig out a path yet. But another thing that's great about this guys is if you shoot the demolishers and the button goes red, they're only gonna explode once they reach the, reach the bottom. So not even demolishers will be a problem for you with this build. And yeah, everything just works out great. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Till next time guys, cheers, see ya.